Hey, it's Art from My New Microphone. There are plenty of vocal tuning softwares and plugins on the market. My personal favorite happens to be Celemony Melodyne. I use the Studio 5 version in my studio, and in today's video, I want to show you how to go about tuning vocals with Melodyne. This is not going to be a full in-depth demo of the plugin, nor do you need the studio version necessarily to do what I'm about to show you. Rather, I want to show you the basics of vocal tuning with Melodyne to give you a better idea if you're on the fence of whether you want to buy it or not, or if you already have the plugin and want to learn more about tuning your vocals with it. So it's my goal to help you with your vocal production and tuning with Melodyne. Without further ado, let's hop into the digital audio workstation. All right, here we are inside of Logic Pro to talk about vocal tuning with Melodyne. So first and foremost, I have Melodyne as the first insert on my lead vocal right here, Vox Lead. You can see that I turned off everything else. Not that anything else after Melodyne would make a big deal, but when we are using Melodyne, we're gonna want to put it as early in the signal chain, preferably the first in the signal chain if possible. And that is because we want Melodyne to be reading the raw audio. We don't want a bunch of effects on our audio being fed into Melodyne. We want as raw an audio signal as possible. And so it is the first insert on the lead vocal. You can see here I'm using Melodyne Studio, Studio 5 to be exact. I believe at the time of recording this is the top of the line Melodyne version. However, what I'm going to show you is relatively basic in terms of what Melodyne is capable of doing. And so you should be able to do this with whatever edition of Melodyne you happen to be using. As an aside, I chose Studio 5 for the advanced functionality, particularly the ARA or the audio random access and the polyphonic tuning capabilities that Melodyne has, which I absolutely love. I will not be using ARA or audio random access in this video. It does require a compatible digital audio workstation, and I'm currently not running Logic in Rosetta. I just got a new Mac Studio, which does not have an Intel processor. It has the M2 Max chip, and so ARA isn't compatible with Logic if it's not running in Rosetta. And on top of that, I wanted to show you how to go about using Melodyne if you don't have the studio version. I think the top two versions allow for ARA. The lower two versions do not, and so I wanted this to be pretty universal, and so I'm going to hit transfer right here. That is going to basically arm Melodyne and get it ready to record the audio that is going into it. I'm also going to go here to algorithm, set default, and go to melodic right here. You can see we have automatic. Typically, Melodyne is pretty good at judging whether a signal is percussive, polyphonic, or monophonic. We have universal, percussive, percussive pitched, melodic, polyphonic sustain, polyphonic decay. I choose melodic because I know that this is a monophonic instrument, the vocal, and I want Melodyne to get it right on the first try. So I'm going under algorithm, choosing melodic. I've got transfer selected, so this Melodyne is armed, and now I hit spacebar or play in logic, and I'm just going to capture this range right here. All around us is the drug takers playing with the saw shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you do three, we're all the same. If I get twisted, pull it, pass it. Monophonic detection. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in that I was stuck on a dead sea. I'm happy that I changed. Yeah. All right, and now so we see Melodyne has recorded the vocal. We see these orange lumps right here. These refer to the words or the syllables that are being performed. And then the red line right here, if I was to zoom in on this, the red lines right here are the actual pitch. And so you see a lot of variation at the beginning of words, at the beginning of syllables right here. That refers to the transient information of the vocal. And so we typically don't wanna tune this part of the vocal too heavily or at all in some cases. It's where a lot of the tone and timbre of the vocal comes in. Much like any instruments, there's a lot of extra harmonic content in the transients of vocals, which again applies to the tone of the vocal. And then in the bulk right here, this is where the actual notes are being hit. And so we have three primary tools for tuning with Melodyne. They are under this tab right here. If I click, I have the pitch tool. With this one, I can drag this up so that I can effectively set the pitch to whatever I want. The further away I get from the natural pitch of the original audio, the more artifacts are going to be present. Melodyne does sound great, but we can only push it so far. And then on top of that, I have these windows right here. So I have A3, so that is the note that Melodyne has determined that first word to be at. And then I have the offset right here in sense. So this is plus 21 cents above true natural A3, assuming A4 equals 440 hertz. So with the pitch tool, I can click on something, drag it up. I can also hit Command Z or whatever undo is in your DAW or operating system, and it will actually undo what I did inside Melodyne rather than what I did inside of the digital audio workstation itself, which is a huge feature for vocal tuning. 
Beyond the pitch tool, I have the pitch modulation tool. If I was to select this one, you see that I can select different parts of the audio, or if I hold down shift, I can select multiple parts. And then I have this box right here at 100%. That is what was naturally fed into Melodyne. And then I can actually bring this up and flatten out any pitch variation or pitch modulation. I can even go into the negatives and reverse this pitch variation, which would sound really weird. All around us is the drug takers playing with us. Obviously we don't wanna do that. So let's bring this back up to 100 just to get things started. And then beyond that, I have the pitch drift tool right here. And this effectively allows us to change the drifting of pitch. So if there was a note that was held and it is slowly going flat, we can help to adjust that drift and keep it more consistent. Alternatively, if we had a note that was held and it was slowly drifting to the sharp, we could use this to flatten it out and make it more consistent as a result. And so much like the pitch modulation tool, I have 100% right there. You can see that as I'm dragging this down, it is making it drift downwards in pitch over time. And if I bring this positive, it is making it drift upwards over time. And it's actually bringing down the start of the note right there. So let's bring this back to 100 just to start off. Beyond that, I can adjust the formants. I can adjust the amplitude. I can stretch or compress different notes or different words within the vocal and I can also separate different notes. So if I wanted this word or this syllable to be in two separate chunks, according to the Melodyne tuning algorithm, I could double click right here and it would make two separate notes right here rather than one big blob. And then I could go and tune these ones differently. For example, if I put on the pitch tool, I now have individual control over what I split right here, rather than if I was to undo a few times, only control over this entire blob like that. And so that is the basic tool set that we have inside Melodyne. And what I like to do when I'm tuning is I will choose the main tool and I will work on short sections of the song at a time. And so for this instance, let's work on the first half first and then move on to the second half. So playing it through, it should sound the exact same as the original. I'm not doing any processing with Melodyne and Melodyne as a plugin is super transparent. If you don't actually do anything within the software, it won't alter the sound of the material, which is a huge feature of Melodyne and why I like it so much. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you're different. You are all the same. So that is the first section that I want to start with. And so with the main tool, I'm just going to select everything here. And what I like to start with is this correct pitch macro. And what I'm going to do is actually run this to the pitch center being 100%. The bass guitar in this, which is holding down the rhythm and the harmony of the track, so to speak, was tuned at A440. And we made sure that the intonation of the bass was dialed in and that we kept tuning between takes. And so I want the pitch center of the vocals in this case to be on that same A440 mark right here. I do have an option right here, snap to chord scale. Now as a personal preference, I like working in the chromatic scale where I don't actually have notes set to a scale, Furthermore, in this funky tune, there is some modulation between major and minor and A. But if I knew that this was in A major and I only wanted to hit notes in A major, then I could snap this to the chord scale and then I could actually choose what scale I want it in this box right here. So right here we have A major. I have this selected snap to chord scale. And so we have the one right here, the major seven as G sharp, the major six as F sharp, the fifth as E and so on and so forth. So I don't want that in this case. I'm going to turn that off and then pitch drift. I usually don't play around with this too much. I'll usually go on a per note basis and adjust the pitch drift if I need to. I really want to make minimal adjustments if necessary, unless I'm going for that auto tune sound. I will often do the minimal amount necessary in order to get a nice tuned vocal. And that way I can keep the vocal sounding nice and natural as if there's no pitch correction on it, which is typically what I like to go for in my mixes. And so I have pitch center at 100% right here. I will click OK. And now let's have a listen. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you're different. You are all the same. And so this note right here sounds a little bit off. And so I think I'm going to bring that down a semitone. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you're different. All the same. That sounds good to me. And you see this note right here doesn't seem like it's in the key. You can see that there are two consecutive half notes right here and we aren't dealing with any exotic scales, but this isn't necessarily a strong word or syllable 
within the vocal performance. And you can see here how drastic the actual tuning goes. Remember that this red line is the actual tuning. So this is very much a transitionary note. So it doesn't bother me if that is out of tune, so to speak, within the greater context of the actual notes that are being represented right here. One thing I like to take into account when I am doing vocal tuning with Melodyne is the center of the notes right here. And so if we zoom in right here, the actual center line for A is going to be in the middle of this row right here. So you see that the peaks are pretty much hitting the real A3. And then a lot of this is actually flat compared to A3. And so what I can do is actually go in here and maybe do a bit of pitch modulation, bring the percentage down so that more of the note is closer to that A3. This isn't absolutely necessary, but it's something that I typically like to do a little bit when I'm tuning vocals. And then right here, I may actually bring that down so that the peak right here is also at that A3 right there. I may also try this over on this side as well. And I'm just making things closer. I'm not trying to force things to be exactly at A, but I just know that the root note of this is on A. And so I want to, from a theoretical standpoint, really drive in that A in the vocal. So let's have a listen to what this sounds like. All around us is the drug takes place. All around us is the drug. So that sounds weird right there. This one, maybe I did not select. And so if I go here, the pitch center is at zero. Let's go here to the pitch tool and maybe bring that, yeah, down to zero cents. All around us is the drug. All around us is the drug. So that is a pretty noticeable artifact right off the bat. And so what I might want to do here is go back to the pitch modulation, just make this 100%. All around us is the drug. That sounds a lot better. And so to avoid that initial artifact, I'm actually not going to do any modulation on this first note right here. All around us is the drug. Take us playing with the salt shakers, one us for All around us is the drug. Take us playing with the salt shakers, one us for all. Y'all digging your dreams. You are all the same. If I get twisted, pull it. So now that I have this part tuned to the actual notes, this part isn't, and you can hear the subtle difference in tuning. It did sound more cohesive when the first part wasn't tuned because it was all a little bit sharp. But now that I've brought down the first part of this performance, the second part actually does sound a little bit out of place. And this is something that you need to keep in mind when you are doing vocal tuning, is that once you start, it's very hard to stop. If there is doubling or background vocals, once you start tuning one vocal track, you're gonna wanna go through and definitely tune all of them so that they're all working together. If you're dealing with vocalists who really know how to sing and match the pitch of the other vocals within a song, when they are doing their double takes or their double tracking, they will sing to what was previously there. And so if you fix or tune something that was a reference point for another vocal performance, you're gonna wanna definitely go through and touch up everything. And so with these next ones, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to this pitch macro control, adjust the pitch center here, click OK. All around us is the drug takers playing with the salt shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you're different, you are all the same. If I get twisted, pull it, pass it. That sounds pretty good for the first half. Now I will go over to the second half and do the same thing. And you hear there how great a job Melodyne does with just a little bit of pitch correction. Really all I'm doing here is going to this course, adjusting the pitch center, and then doing a little bit of finessing. This the other day I found my This the other day I found my So that sounds a little bit off to me now. Let's give it a little bit more space off the top. This the other day I found my black Let's see what this sounds like if I go back to the pitch tool and actually bring this down to the G sharp. This the other day I found my black bag. This the other day I found So this part right here seems more like a transient to me and then this section right here actually looks a little bit sharp. And so if we have a closer look at this, you can see right here that this tuning right here is borderline between A and A sharp. And so what I'm going to do is click on that and actually try to modulate this down a little bit. Let's see what it sounds like with the top of this red line right here in the middle of A3. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. That's good. Let's see if we can bring this part down maybe. Just the other day I found my black Or maybe up top. Just the other day I found my black Just the other day I found my black berry. And then this day part right here, you see that that peak is above that A as well. So let's perhaps try the modulation tool, bring that down. 
bring this down as well. And now you see that these peaks are at the starting at the A. Again, these are a lot of transients, but I just want to see what we can do with this part right here. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. So I think I have to do something about this first one now. Let's go back to pitch tool and just bring that up to A. Just the other day I found my and that still sounds a little sharp to me. So let's adjust the sense maybe down 20 cents. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. What happens if I bring that down to G? Just the other day I found my Blackberry. Or what happens if I keep it up at A? Just bring it down a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I Now this seems like quite the jump. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. So that's definitely not what we want. Let's drag this down a little bit more. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. What happens if I make this at the G sharp? Just the other day I found my Blackberry. Still a little bit hot or a little bit sharp. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I And now this one right here. Let's flatten that one out a little bit. And this one as well. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in that I was stuck on the day. Let's bring this one down a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in that I was stuck on the day. What happens if I bring this one up? Excuse me, that was still on the modulation tab. And if you just click this, it will automatically go to the pitch tool. If you hold it down, it will let you go to the modulation tool or the pitch drift tool. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set. So this one is still a little bit sharp. Let's bring this one down. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the So that sounds a lot better to me. The vocal in this part is almost sliding downwards, and so I don't need this to be perfectly on pitch. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in that I was stuck on the day. That one seems a little out of place. Let's bring this one down. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in that I was stuck on the day. This one seems like it's going a little bit too flat. So let's go to pitch modulation, bring this one up. And just going down to that B, so that would be the major second in A, and then leaving this as it is. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in that I was stuck on the day. I'm happy that I changed. So there's a lot of vibrato going on in this performance, and so I don't really want to touch that all that much. That's part of the vocal tone, it's part of the vibe of the song. I'm trying to do minimal touches on this just to help make things fit into the overall tuning. And so if we listen to the entirety right here, by the way, if I was going through and tuning the entirety of this vocal, I would have had all of this recorded and I would go through and work in small chunks as I've been doing. But of the two chunks that we worked on so far, let's have a listen. All around us is the drug takers playing with the salt shakers, one us for all, y'all. So this first part is still bugging me a little bit. Let's bring this down to zero cents. All around us is the drug takers. All around us is the drug takers playing with the salt shakers. All around us is the drug takers playing with the salt shakers, one us for all, y'all. This one is giving me some issues as well, and I'm just splitting hairs at this point. All around us is the drug takers playing with the salt shakers, one us for all. Y'all digging your dick, green, you are all the same. If I get twisted, pull it, pass it. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in that I was stuck on the day. I'm happy that I changed. So I think that that is good for the lead vocal. So to recap, I was working in chromatic mode. I did not decide to choose any key to work within. The first thing I like to do is 
select whatever it is I'm working on and work on small sections at a time, and then go to this control right here, the correct pitch macro, and basically make my pitch centers at 100% just to center these blobs on specific notes. And then from there, I go in and finesse utilizing the pitch tool. And with the pitch tool, I will go in, for example, and adjust not only the selected note in some cases, but also the offset and sense. And then another big tool that I like to use in vocal pitch correction is the pitch modulation tool, just to tone down the modulation or the vibrato or the transients or pitch shifting between notes, depending on what is required. And then in this case, I didn't really use the pitch drift tool because there's no real long held notes in the case of this particular mix. And to back things up even further, before I recorded or transferred audio into Melodyne, I went to algorithm and chose the melodic standard algorithm because this is a monophonic instrument as the lead vocal. Now that we've done the lead vocal, I said we were going to work a little bit on these harmonies. And so let's unmute these. And what I'm going to do is actually go to each of these and insert their own Melodyne. Again, I'm staying away from the ARA in the case of this tutorial. I'm not running Logic in Rosetta, and I want this to be for everybody, and so I'm going to use the standard version of Melodyne. And so Vocal Harms 1 is going to be Melodyne 2. You can see that now that I have five instances of Melodyne, they all show up right here. I'm not sure if this is just a feature of Studio and the upper versions. You may or may not have this, but what I'm going to do is hit Transfer. So I'm going to arm the Vocal Harmony 1. I'm also going to arm the vocal harmony two, and then three and four as well. So I can arm all of these from a single plugin. And then if I go and click, for example, on the last one, you see that it is also armed. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to play audio into it and have things recorded on each of the vocal harmony tracks. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. We all think it is free. Why all the same? If I get twisty, pull it, pass it. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set But now I plugged it in that I was stuck on a dead sea <laughs> Happy that I changed Oh, fuck it, yeah and so now we have, in this case, Vocal Harmony 1 and everything right here. And if we wanted to have a look at the other Melodynes, so for example, if I wanted to tune Vox Harms 1 against the lead vocal, I could also select this one right here and then have what I did on the lead vocal right here. So this is really good for getting different harmonies and to know what you're referencing your new track against. I could make things really complex and bring in all of these. And so I have all of the vocal harmonies right here. I have two octaves below and then two octaves above. That's a little bit too complex for this video lesson at this moment. And so what I'm going to do is select what I had originally. And now what I have here, I'm going to hold down command in the case of Logic Pro and the Mac OS in order to make that happen. And so I have my first little section right here. Let's bring this cycle range back and I can go through much like I did in the lead vocal, hit the correct pitch macro center this pitch and have a listen to the first little bit. And I'm just for this case going to reference the first vocal harmony against the lead vocal. I'm not going to touch the other three. There's way too much going on. And so I just want to focus on tuning the first harmony to the lead vocal here. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. And so right here we have a little bit of an issue. Let's zoom in on this. This one is going up. And so right here, I can actually go back and adjust this back to what it was. And you see that it runs a little flat and then a little bit above. And so maybe what I want to do is utilize the modulation tool, flatten this out a little bit, and then maybe even pitch it down in terms of the fine tuning, this sense right here. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us And now it just sounds like a little bit of vibrato, a little bit of pitch variation, and it doesn't sound out of tune. The next issue I want to address is this one right here. So let's actually try some modulation to begin with, and then maybe do the same thing. Let's drop this down in a few cents. Have a listen here. All around us is the drug takers playing with So that's a little flat now. Let's bring this up. All around us is the drug takers playing with it. And now this one, maybe I want to adjust the modulation so that that top line is still within this A4. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Let's reduce the modulation on this one as well. And then just level things out a little bit right here. 
All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all can't get your disagree. We're all the same. That sounds pretty good to me. There's some nice vibrato here, and we're going back up to the A. The first one right here, this is the major six compared to A. Let's see if we can actually not modulate this and rather go to the pitch tool. Bring this up. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all can't get your dick all the same. I get twisted. Pull it. Pass it. That actually sounds pretty good to my ears. The funky bass line here is actually modulating between major and minor. And so taking into account that this is an A, we're using the C, which is the minor third, and also the C sharp, which is the major third. And so this piece right here kind of fits right in music theory wise with the bass line. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all can't get your dick. Let's fix this one in terms of the modulation a little bit. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. Y'all can't get your dick. We're all the same. I get twisted. And the thing about background vocals is because they aren't at the forefront of the mix, we can actually be a little bit more aggressive with their tuning. I'm not being overly aggressive with this first harmony. I'm just saying that we can be if we need to. Let's go on to the second part now. Just the other day I found my black bear. So first I'm going to select all of this new stuff that we have going on, including this piece. And I'm going to adjust it so that it is pitch centered. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. Let's fix this part right here. Bring that up. Just the other day I found my Maybe bring this up a little bit in terms of the tuning. Just the other day I found my black This one down in terms of the modulation. Just the other day I found my Blackberry. And so right here, you see that this note is somewhere between G sharp and A4. But if we look at the line, it's actually scooping up to be pretty close to that A4. And so if we go back to pitch tool, maybe I can even bring this down a little bit more. But I'm looking at this red line, the actual pitch of the note itself at this specific point, and using that as my reference point for actually tuning this vocal. Just the other day I found my Let's actually bring this one up in terms of modulation. Just the other day I found my blackberry in the set when I flatten this one out a little bit. Just the other day I found my blackberry in the set when I plugged it in then I was stuck on a day. So there's some stuff going on right here. Let's maybe bring this down. Half step right here. Just the other day I found my blackberry in the set when I maybe flatten this one out a little bit. Again, we can get a little bit more aggressive with the background vocals because they are not at the forefront of the mix. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it. And here is a case where I may actually go over to the note separation tool, double click right here, and actually treat these as two separate notes. Go back to the pitch tool, bring this down so that we're at zero cents just to start with, and then bring this up so that we're at zero cents. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in then I was stuck on the desk. So that is good. What I did down here is not good. So let's bring that back up. I can either use the tool or just use this offset box right here and actually I can keep going. It's not like I'm still relegated to whatever note this is. I can actually transpose through different notes just using this tool if I wanted to. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in then I was stuck on the desk. Now this is another place where I may want to double click right here, make two different notes, choose the pitch tool, make this one come down and focus that one on D, and then maybe focus this one also on D. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in then I was stuck on the desk. That sounds better to me. Let's flatten this one out just a little bit. And we're getting a bit of modulation between that C sharp and D right here. Let's flatten this out just a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set when I plugged it in then I was stuck on the desk. I'm happy that I changed. And this has to change a little bit. Let's go to the tuning tool right here. Just the other day. I'm happy that I changed. I'm happy that I changed. I'm 
I think that that is good for the first vocal harmony. And now we would go through and do the second one. So I can even alter the pitch of this track in this melodyne. I can get rid of that one and focus on the third melodyne, which is Vox Harms 2. And much like I just did, I can reference that against the lead vocal, which is melodyne number one. And so going back to the very first part, I can drag this out and then go through and select the first part of that vocal performance. Go here, pitch center. All around us is the drug takers playing with us. And bring this one down maybe. All around us is the drug takers. So that has to stay up there. This one right here can come down. Let's use the pitch modulation tool. All around us is the drug takers playing. Flatten this part out as well. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all. Let's Flatten these out just a little bit. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, want us for all. Y'all thinking you do. all the same. Sounds good to me. Moving on to the second one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select all of this and pitch center 100%. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the sea. This one goes down a little bit hard. Just the other day I found my black. Let's go pitch modulation, bring this down a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the What would happen if we really brought down the modulation on this one? Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but so that is super aggressive, but because again, it's the background vocal, I can get away with it a little bit more. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it in. So this one's dropping a little bit too much. Let's see if we can get a bit aggressive with this one as well. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it. So here's where we're getting a little bit robotic, right? Said when I plug. So there's no transition right there or very little transition because I got rid of it. And so that doesn't really sit well in this context of this mix. So let's revisit this. And maybe what I'm going to do is go back to this split tool, double click right here. And now I have a bit more leeway over what is happening right here in terms of pitch. So I can center this one on E, then I can make this one a bit more centered on E and then maybe modulate this one out so that I still have that nice drop down right here on the transient or the slide, so to speak, between these notes. And then I can flatten this part out. Let's go back to pitch and bring this down to zero so that it's centered on E. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it in, then I was still gonna do Let's snap this one into two as well. And center these ones. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it in, then I was still gonna do Now this one I may want to split even more, or I could go here and try out the pitch drift tool and basically drift this up a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it in, then I was still gonna do Let's make this modulation a little bit less, and then let's even bring this up a little bit in terms of the pitch. Just to keep this red line right here more so on D. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it in, then I was still gonna do I'm happy that I changed. Now this one, let's maybe keep it up a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but not I plugged it in, then I was still gonna do I'm happy that I changed. And I think that that works for these first two. And now we can move on to the last two. So let's in this same Melodyne that is on Vox Harms 1, work on the Vox Harms 3 and 4 right here. And so I'm going to click on Melodyne 4, hold down Command, click on Melodyne 5. And these are the low ones. And you can see that they are a little bit out of tune with each other. So what I'm going to do is go to the main tool, select the first little bit as I always do, and these and just see what happens when I set them to pitch center. 
So let's go back and have a look at the lead vocal versus each of these and focus on the low harmony back at the beginning. All around the system. I will mute this second low harmony. All around the system, drug takers playing with the song. So these ones, I'm going to quickly bring them down in terms of the modulation. All around the system, drug takers playing with the song. Bring this down, and again, because these are background vocals, we can be a little bit more aggressive with things. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. We all think it is free, we're all the same. Make that a little more succinct. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. We all think it is free, we're all the same. Let's bring this one up actually. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. We all think it's free, quite all the same. If I get twisty, pull it, pass it. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shakers, one us for all. We all think it's free, quite all the same. If I get twisty, pull it, pass it. All around us is All right, and now on to the second half. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in its Let's bring down the modulation right here and right here. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in its set, but now I plugged it in that I was stuck on a day. Make sure that that's actually going up to hit that E. Maybe take this down a little bit. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in its set, but now I plugged it in that I was stuck on a day. <laughs> Have it, I changed. Let's bring these so that they are centered. This one can go up a little bit in terms of pitch. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in, then I was stuck on a day. Happy that I changed. Yeah. Since the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in, then I was stuck on a day. Happy that I changed. Okay, let's move on to the other low harmony here. I'm going to hit Command and select this one instead. Back to the start. All around us is the drug takers playing. And let's actually bring this up to the A, hear what that sounds like. All around us is the drug takers playing. That sounds pretty good. Again, it is in the background. Let's go to pitch modulation here. Bring things down a little bit. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shake. All around us is the drug takers playing. This one can come down as well, I think, to G. All around us is the drug takers playing with the song shake as one us for all. Y'all thinking it is free, quite all the same. If I get twisted, pull it, pass it. All around us. That sounds good to me. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but. What happens if I bring this down? Just the other day I found my black. Not quite. Just the other day I found my black. Just the other day I found my blackberry in the set. Just the other day I found my black. So that sounds a little too high right there. Let's go back to the modulation tool, make this 100 once again, and actually bring this down in pitch. And now we see that the very top of this is in B. Just the other day I found my black bear. And what happens if I bring it down to A? Just the other day I found my Just the other day I found my black bear. Just the other day I found my black bear. So that sounds in tune as well. What does that sound like with the other low harmony? Just the other day I found my black Yeah, I think that that's the right choice. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in, then I was stuck on a day. <laughs> Let's bring down the modulation in these notes down here. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in, then I was stuck on a day. These ones can actually come down, I think, to D. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in, then I was stuck on a day. Just the other day I found my Blackberry in the set, but now I plugged it in, then I was stuck on a day. Happy that I changed.
Yeah. And I think that that is good for the harmonies right there. And now all together, we can have a listen with and without Melodyne. So here is everything without any vocal tuning. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers once for all. We all think it is free. We're all the same. Define getting twisty. Pull it. Pass it. Just the other day I found my blackberry in the set But now I plugged it in that I was stuck on a dead sea Have it I changed And now with vocal tuning All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers Once for all, we all think it is free We're all the same If I'm getting twisty Pull it, pass it just the other day I found my blackberry in the set But now I plugged it in that I was stuck on a dead sea Have it and I changed so it does sound tighter, it sounds more professional and more tied into the music itself. And I think that it's a definite improvement over not having any vocal tuning whatsoever. So that is how I would go about tuning vocals with Melodyne. Before we go, I just wanna quickly show you how you would get that auto-tune sort of robotic sound out of Melodyne. Let's actually mute off those vocal harmonies once again, go back to the lead vocal, and I'll actually open up a new instance of Melodyne and just transfer in, make sure that the algorithm is on melodic, and transfer in this first part. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all, y'all thinking you do free, we're all the same. So we have the first line right here. And now if I was to go pitch center at 100%, I don't necessarily have to do anything with pitch drift right here. But what I would want to do is then go into pitch modulation and bring everything down to zero so that there's absolutely no variation. And what happens between the notes now is a very quick pitch change. And so this is what that would sound like. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all, y'all thinking you do free. And then you would go through, click on the actual pitch tool and shift this to your liking. All around us is the drug takers playing with... All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all, y'all thinking you do all around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all, y'all thinking you do free, we're all the same. So that's how you would go about getting that sort of effect. Let's go back to pitch modulation and just make sure that this is all at zero. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all, y'all thinking you do free, we're all the same. And then of course we could go through and do all of the harmonies like that if we wanted to. And just for fun, let's do that drag over this Melodyne and then make sure that these are all being transferred and let's record all of this. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all, y'all thinking you do free, we're all the same. Now let's open up this Melodyne right here, Melodyne 6. Make sure that we have everything on the go right here in terms of the next five Melodynes, the new ones that I have. Select everything that we have Go up here to pitch center. And then after that, we have to make sure to get rid of all of the pitch modulation so that we are absolutely flat. Choose these ones. And now let's have a listen. It's not going to be perfect. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you do free, we're all the same. If I'm getting twisty. And then I'll go through and just adjust the pitches here. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all. Y'all think. Make sure that these are correct. All around us is the drug takers playing with the soul shakers, one us for all. Y'all thinking you do free, we're all the same. And so that is how you could get a more robotic sound out of Melodyne if you really wanted to. I'm obviously kind of doing this for jokes in the case of this mix, but if you wanted to go to that full robotic sound, that is how you would do it. So I hope that this has been helpful. That's all I've got for you today with Melodyne and Logic Pro. I'll see you outside the DAW.
All right, so that is the quick and easy way to tune your vocals with Melodyne. I hope that this video has proved insightful for you in your vocal production endeavors. If you'd like to learn more about mixing, I do have a free mixing guidebook. It will be the first link in the description box down below. You can click on that link, sign up to my newsletter, and I'll send it to you right away. It goes through my entire framework of mixing from start to finish to help you make the right decisions at the right times to improve your mixes. And if you'd like to spend more time with me here on YouTube, I have another few videos worth checking out right here. So you can click on one of those and I'll see you there. Cheers.